I'm Bambi Francisco with Vader News, the network for innovators, and I'm speaking with Steve Vachani. He's the CEO and founder of Power.com. We're continuing our interview. Steve, thanks for, for sticking around. Thank you. Um, and during the last interview, I wanted to ask you about, we were talking a little bit about the iframes, and um, I searched around and uh, clicked on Google, and yep. I ended up on Google, and you had your iframe, or unless you want to call it intelligent proxy. Correct. And I'm, I'm curious, do you count that as a, as a page view um, for your site, and do you put ads on there as well? So the answer is we don't, we don't count that as, that page view is the page view of the site that a user is visiting. So um, would you count it in your aggregated? No, we pages? naturally we look we look more at how much time a user is with us every day, okay. and you know a typical active user, you know spends between anywhere from from uh, 20, 20 minutes to one hour with us on each each visit, mm -hmm. and I think that um, the reason is that they are visiting multiple sites and doing many things, but naturally, it's it's very similar to if you think of Windows and the applications. A user is always logged into Windows, sure. and then they go and use their applications. So when a user logs into Power, they are logged into Power, right. and then they use uh, all their different sites. I guess to the extent that there's an advertising component here, I'm wondering if you go and, and you know because you do have that yeah. layer, and no. is that is there an opportunity? To we sell? have we have no interest in uh, touching or affecting the advertising of the sites that our users are using. We. Uh, we have a we do have a strong relationship with our users, uh, and therefore there are there, we have we do have opportunities to communicate with them through uh, through our toolbar, also on the start page mm -hmm. when the users come to power.com on their on the toolbar is that the toolbar, the toolbar and our our what we refer to as the power start page okay. that's where they log into. We do have the opportunity to communicate with users. How and many impressions are you getting on the toolbar, or so not impressions maybe views? So as, as, a, as a month right now, we are, I think every, every day, uh, we, we generate about 150 to 200 million um, impressions, um, I guess you would say, per How month. How many impressions per view of the toolbar? So that, are you counting multiple impressions so per what we, view? So each, each session, I think a user um, has about, uh, you know, about 30, 30 page views. Okay. And so, yeah, they would a few times that by about uh, about a half a million visits per day. Okay. That's visitors that come into our sites. Now, um, you have five million users. You're relatively. I mean, you launched. When exactly did you launch in Brazil? So we have what we've done. We originally launched the service for Orkut users, and Orkut okay. is the largest social network in India and in Brazil. Uh, we. We have launched that uh, more than a, over a year ago, okay. um, and we started with very, very niche uh, social internetworking applications, applications for messaging across sites, mm -hmm. applications for users of Orkut to interact with other sites they use. We have then added uh, recently in our announcement added Facebook, High Five, MySpace, and also the MSN Instant Messenger. Um, what percentage of the people, the five million users, are Orkut users? <laughs> Would you say majority um, of them? Up until one week, a large percentage were Orkut users, but yeah. in the last uh, few weeks, we've had significant growth in Facebook, MySpace, and High Five, uh, including myself, because yes. I've just joined as a user too. What do you attribute the the viral growth to? I have here from uh, the Washington Post is the Power.com users who leave content on sites can choose to add a link to power.com. I think I've seen that, and that's made Correct. the site very viral. Yes, Did we have two that? forms of virality. If you remember Hotmail, uh, every message a user sends mm -hmm. contains a, a one-line ad that it was sent, a message was sent from Hotmail. Mm -hmm. One of the most popular applications that our users use are inter-network inter messaging uh, messages. Mm -hmm. So you can write messages to five different sites from one place. So our millions of users are sending millions of messages, you know, and each message they send contains a, you know, is marked that it was sent through power. And so their friends find out about power through the messages and then, of course, discover it and start to become active users themselves. How is effective, how effective is the campaign you've had? The first 100 people who invite 100 new friends and earn $100 is 
How effective has that been? We've introduced that only in the last week, but the oh. response has been quite good. I think that uh, our early users, who are already loyal and active users, are now, you know, are, are given yet another reason uh, to bring their friends into power. And um, what percentage of the people actually did that then? Well, we've just introduced that in the last uh, last five days. What I mean, it's a hundred dollars, sort of as an incentive. So, it, 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 I wonder what the demographic is, um, because you wouldn't have a, you know, kind of an older demographic. I think uh, I think a hundred one hundred dollars yeah. is good for anyone, you know, for doing something, to inviting your friends to something that you already enjoy. So it works across demographics. And yeah. what is your demographic? Well, our demographic um, traditionally has has been um, very broad, but tends to be active social networking users. Okay. Uh, people. Power users. We refer to as power users. Okay. Uh, but it's as we continue to increase new, add new functionality and features. What um, percentage of the so people on social network would you consider power users? Uh, we believe, uh, based on the People, if you look at, uh, actually, Michael Arrington from TechCrunch pointed out in his uh, article that there are 50 million people in the United States who are actively using MySpace and Facebook. And it was probably another 20 million that are probably actively using LinkedIn uh, Would to, you consider together. those power users? I think that anybody that uh, uses uh, both, you know, more than one site is probably an active power user. Okay. Or uh, anyone that uses one site uh, significantly, but they just want to be the influencers. Yeah. And typically, the influencers are the top 20 to 25 percent of users. Okay. So if you'd say that today in the world there are maybe 500 million people approximately using social networks, mm -hmm. we're, really, uh, we're targeting really the top, you know, the top 100 million users mm -hmm. that are actively using social networks initially. But I think that the value is not only to those people. It's really to anybody who has an email, network. an instant messenger, a mobile phone, and a social network, which okay. these days is almost everyone. Everyone. Okay, we're going to wrap it up there. We're going to come back to you about your business model and advertising um, and just sort of the evolution of social networks. So, Steve um, Vichani, stick, stick around. Thank you I've so much. I've been speaking with uh, Steve Vichani. He's the CEO and founder of Power.com. I'm Bambi Francisco.